Hey guys, my name is Zaman, aka DJ Reminis, and welcome to my channel. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me how I do my podcast, how I do my radio shows, how I mix, how I do this, how I do that. So today, I'm going to give you some of the tools that I use in my studio uh, that I make my remixes with, that I do my podcast with, and mix sessions with. I'm going to be upfront here. Um, these tools aren't necessary. Uh, I've picked a package that I believe is probably. Um, in terms of cost effective will be the best um, there are some caveats and I'll uh, explain that to you in a second um, so yeah let's get to it so uh, first things first why should you even listen to me um, I kind of I want to give you my background I've been DJing for 20 plus years I've been an audio engineer for 20 plus years um, some of my notable mentions as an engineer uh, Jazzy B, Harpajan Man, Romy Gill, the late great Romy Gill um, I've had the uh, pleasure of um, doing some stuff with Honey Singh in my studio, um, Roshan Prince, uh, Gippy Garawal. It, it, the name names are endless. So in terms of experience, I strongly believe that I do have the experience. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I'm just here to maybe help some of you or guide some of you in the right direction, and maybe to get some of your stuff, um, you know, on a on a different level or sound different, whatever it may be. Okay, so let's get uh, through the tools of the trade. So first things first, the most important uh, tool you will need is obviously a laptop or a desktop. Now, I am Mac. That doesn't mean that you need to be Mac. Again, these are just the tools that I use. The reason why I run Mac is because of Logic Pro. Uh, Logic Pro is an app, is a Mac-based um, software that I use quite a bit for mixing sessions as get them in Logic. Um, I mainly use Pro Tools. I'm a Pro Tools engineer. Um, but the software that I'm going to show you and teach you guys is portable on both Mac and PC. So if you have a PC, great. If you got a Mac, great. Um, the software that I'm going to teach you guys um, how to use is Ableton. Ableton, I, in my opinion, is probably the most versatile um, application out there for uh, you know newcomers that want to produce, that want to do remixes, that want to do my podcasts. All my podcasts are done in Ableton. So um, all the shows that you hear, uh, originally I think the first two were done in Logic because I didn't um, have uh, the latest version of Ableton. But I would say over 90% of all my shows that you listen to are done in Ableton. The next piece of gear that I highly recommend is a very good pair of headphones. Now, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of engineers that are saying, well, you know, you shouldn't be mixing on headphones and... Get some studio monitor, studio monitors. Yeah, I, I agree. I have studio monitors too. I have the Yamaha HS50s. Um, they're pretty much close to the NS10s, which is the industry standard sort of speaker when you mix. Um, listen, I'm, again, I'm here to show you a budget system that will get you up and running and still make some kick-ass music or podcasts or remixes, whatever it may be. Yeah, if you can afford it, yeah, definitely get studio monitors. Um, but here's what I want you to think about. Most of the music that you and I listen to um, nowadays is listen through a pair of headphones. Um, so a lot of the mixes that we do is for headphones. So why wouldn't you mix on headphones? Do you understand what I'm saying? So uh, I'll give you my example. I've got two pairs of headphones that I use when I mix. So I've got my, um, my Bose that you may have heard or seen me, sorry, uh, on the show. I'll be wearing these when I record the show or on the videos. Um, these ones I love. These are my favorite headphones. I use these quite a bit. But when I'm on the road or when I'm, you know, traveling or you know, on, on the train or whatever it is, I have another set of bows, and I also use these quite a bit to mix as well. Um, do I use my studio monitors? Yes. I like the studio monitors just to crank it, just to hear the mix as an overall, um, you know, levels or looking for stuff that, you know, sounds odd to me. But I mainly mix on headphones that I listen to music on. So again, you know, I, I, I'm not here to debate with anyone. This is, this is how I do things. Um, but for, to, starting, to start out, I think... It probably be more economical sense to get a decent pair of headphones, which will probably cost you. I mean, these cost you about 120 bucks. Um, these ones are a bit more expensive; they're about 300. But you know, a decent pair of uh, monitors will probably cost you around three, four hundred, five hundred, whatever it may be. So, there's something to think about. Highly recommend it. Um, I love these bows. This is actually my second pair. So, the third thing that you may need eventually um, is a microphone. Now, I know laptops have a built-in microphone. I've never used that to record any of my stuff. Actually, I, I stand corrected. Uh, I did a I did an interview with um, the Prophecy a couple of weeks back. Uh, it, you know, please go check that out. I'll leave the link below. I recorded that on my laptop via Google Hangout, and I was using my 
um, the microphone that's built into the laptop. But what I recommend for you guys to start out is uh, this microphone right here. This is the uh, Blue Yeti USB microphone. Uh, cost me about 120 bucks. I used this initially uh, quite a bit on my first probably 10 or 12 podcasts. Absolutely love it. I still use it once in a while. Um, you know, just add a little bit of flavor. Great mic, really easy to set up. It's basically, you know, a USB cable that comes with it. Um, again, this one costs me about 120 bucks, I think. I bought this one from uh, Future Shop uh, or whatever it is, Best Buy now, sorry. So it's basically, you know, plugging into there and then taking the cable and plugging into here. And there you have it. And that's basically it. And on the front, you've got, you know, a mute. Um, mute button and the cool thing is on the bottom you can stick your headphones in there so you can have uh, you can monitor yourself instead of monitoring the software if you're having latency issues um, I know what you guys are thinking uh, how come you're not using a sound card or you know whatever it may be yeah you can get a sound card I mean if you're recording stuff in you know uh, for production yeah you're definitely gonna need a sound card again this is just a basic setup for someone who wants to start um, podcasts, or someone who wants to start, you know, creating their own music and um, what have you. Again, this is just a quick video on the setup that I recommend and that I use most of the time, you know, when I'm out traveling or when I, you know, when I'm out of the country. I have my laptop with basically Ableton. I can jot all my ideas down, do all my podcasts with them and basically, you know, and I'm done. So, I, you know, I just, I want to, I can't stress this enough. This is not a all in you know all be all solution for you guys this is just something that i recommend again you can take bits and pieces or not take this or not take that find different software it's totally up to you um, but i want to base my videos on something that everyone can have access to so you know if i'm doing something in logic and you don't have a mac well i mean it doesn't really make sense right so this is my recommendation laptop with ableton ableton you get three different flavors i think it's like a hundred dollars five hundred and seven um, I would suggest go the middle one. So that's probably your biggest, uh, biggest cost right there. You get a whole bunch of thin, uh, synths, you get compressors, everything, which I'll show you guys how to use. Uh, I'm assuming you all have a desktop and laptop. If you don't have that, I mean, I can't help you there, right? But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please do me a huge favor. Um, subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up uh, to date with the latest and greatest. And after a certain point, when I get a bunch of subscribers, it'll lock a whole bunch of features for me and I can bring some way better content for you guys. I like the video, share the video, leave your comments and questions um, if you have anything and you can always get a hold of me. I'll leave all my uh, links below and stay tuned. I'll be doing more videos like this, more tech videos. I'll actually go through some, uh, I'll go through my sessions and then start, you know, show you how I did everything. So yeah, take care.